Hello, welcome to this video of the uh, Skoda Octavia, the 2 litre TDI SE L. L meaning slightly longer. Uh, this one's got more leg room in the back. You've noticed how you've got more leg room is L, so it's the longer one. Very good car, this one. Uh, full service history. Um, documented as well so all the invoices for every service is with the vehicle uh, very good condition let's start on this corner so all very good no major dents or scratches no different colored uh, paint anywhere off shade paint nothing like that all the alloy wheels are very tidy all the tires are like brand new Just being balloted. This has got the Xenon headlights. And the washer jets there for the lights. It's got the lower fog lights as well underneath. Later model, by the way. So it's got the split lights. So obviously that's how you tell uh, the later facelift model with the uh, split lights, it's got two lights at the front. Bonnet, very good condition. No uh, chips anywhere or dents. And right close to the paintwork there, you can see there's no uh, stone chips. Bosch wipers, that's always a good sign. Bosch rubber wipers, the windscreen's very clean. Uh, there's no chips or marks anywhere and it is a original Skoda manufacturer's equipment. So that's the original windscreen. So that's good to know. Roof, very clean. Doesn't look like there's been any evidence of uh, any roof bars on there. Or roof, um, roof rack, should we say. There's usually you can see the clamping marks on the runners there. Back of that wing mirror, all very clean. That door very clean. And that beard door very clean as well. This side arch, all very clean. That alloy wheel immaculate. So the mud guards as well, so rear mud guards, yeah just the rear ones. It's got the reverse parking sensors. And that's all tidy as well, top of the bumper, very tidy. Rear wash wipe. Back to this corner, the roof there. Let's look inside the fuel cap. All nice and clean and tidy. That's the ice scraper, that green thing there, that's a slide out ice scraper. You can see it's got the pattern on the edge to scrape the ice there. It's got the flatter one as well. So that's a uh, factory provided item by Skoda. Which is, I find it very unusual because the uh, v VWs don't have them. So yeah, the uh, Skoda has them, but not the VWs. Okay, inside we've got the uh, retractable parcel shelf, which when you press there, it retracts like that, so that's all working. Carpeted, uh, no dog hairs in here. So clean, doesn't smell of dogs, uh, doesn't smell of smoke. So very clean in here. Lift that up and you've got a variable boot floor, so you've got some storage space under here. And then if you lift, if you lift this one up, You've got the slimline spare wheel, space saving spare wheel, uh, the locking wheel nut, jack and brace kit. So that's all there. That's all there. Even got the screwdriver there as well. So everything is there. It's nice and dry down there as well. And you've then you've also got these uh, pull down to drop the seats back. So if you can't reach, obviously, because it's a longer version. Uh, so it's 12 volt there as well for the car boots. Then down here, you've got another storage space as well. If you've got a first aid kit, you can put it in there. So loads of little cubby holes everywhere scattered around. Uh, 
and then you know, that's it that's actually a torch believe it or not well it's not working it's not charged up so that can that's supposed to charge up that one it might want a new battery in there uh, but that's a pull out to uh, as a mobile torch that might want another battery in it a chargeable one and you've also got these uh, hooks here for the shopping bags so you, you hook your carrier bag on there and uh, so your fingers won't roll around in the boot so you've got two of those at either side in fact you've got more because if you look you've got some more here so you've got four of them you've got four of these carrier bag handle holders that's that up here you've got a grab handle to pull that down uh, and it's good to see that all that is in immaculate condition that black plastic trim and the top of the uh, boot there the immaculate okay that's the bike let's go to the side doors let's open the doors you've got this lovely uh, like an ash green black wood effect garnish there electric rear windows fitted car mats there magazine pockets behind the seats a uh, a bin tray there a bin uh, half alcantara and leather seats so leather and the alcantara it's also got the child seat anchoraging points as well three seat belts three rear headrest as well and a fold down armrest with drinks holder all these areas are nice and clean look at the other side everything's nice and clean the door shuts no trap seat belt marks in the door shuts no worn rubber at all there plenty of leg room like we said before and the seats are immaculate just pull the seat down here so pull the armrest sorry drinks holder there and an armrest so it's got the through load as well as it yes it's got the through load so that comes down and you can stick your hockey sticks no cues fishing rods uh, wife and kids if you want that's all there that's your bin nice and clean got a couple of air vents there as well for the rear occupants backs of the seats very clean and tidy the door shuts are all clean and tidy as well there's no mud or cracks in the speaker grills these have also got the tweeters so this uh, sound system stereo system is is very uh, good in these octavians because they have tweeters in the back as well so this is nice and clean this way as well obviously side airbags it's also got the lumbar support that's the manual lumbar support system there the suede seats suede and leather all the immaculate nowhere and tear on the bolster it's got the height adjustment as well for the uh, passengers uh, fitted carpet set as well uh, glove box this vehicle is HPI clear as well driver's door all the immaculate uh, it has got folding wing mirrors as well so let's see if those work there we go they're folding in that side as well and then if I do the twisty twisty oh there we go yeah that folds out that side and folds out so so folding mirrors heated as well of course four electric windows child uh, safety locks for the windows and doors uh, all down here all nice and clean all the pedals are immaculate as well let's move Ooh. paper you can see that's not worn all nice and clean that mat's taken out to be clean it's drying out so that will be back in uh, all the rubber seals are all nice and not worn no evidence of any trap seat belt marks on the driver's door uh, the driver's seat in good condition very tidy condition uh, tiny bit of wear on the bolster there just a tiny bit height adjustment of course and lumbar support adjustment there as well right time to get in get into this vehicle right let's have a look what we've got here so first of all sat nav uh put it into reverse got the reverse parking sensor display take that out you've got the radio which is dab of course that's the dash national d1 uh station so it's dab uh media that's for your uh bluetooth for your phone or you can plug it up to the usb and the aux voice command as well got voice command so next radio station etc so that works by pressing the voice button there 
So we press that and, and say something like radio. There we go, so it was radio, so that works. And the volume comes on as well, let's switch the volume down. Uh, we've also got the uh, we've got the apps as well. Welcome to that, so we can connect to all these features via the USB. You've got the car, you've got the smart link as well, all these features, loads of features here for the car. It's all touchscreen display, it's all nice and shiny, the glass is not scratched, etc. Then you've got the dual zone climate control, left and right heater settings as well. Uh, I say the AUX and USB input port, your little coin tray there as well, the coin tray down there with a sliding cover. Uh, and then you've got your traction control, uh, auto locking and your driving mode. So driving modes, we press on there, you've got it normal, eco, sport and individual. I usually leave it on eco. Maybe I'm a little bit old these days, but that's the whole idea to save money. Right, this is a six speed manual. Lever gator, 12 volt power supply, drink holder, which is immaculately clean as well. And then you've also got an armrest which is sliding as well, so it slides forwards and backwards, and you've got a storage area in there as well. Right, okay, on this stalk here, indicator and your cruise control stalk. So I've got cruise control. That's the volume control, voice command, next track up and down. Uh, driver assistant lane assist package, this one, front assist. So front assist there, you see that front assist. So that's that button there, so it assists you, so if you get too close to the car in front, it'll beep at you. Uh, and then you've got your files there. We've got quarter tank of fuel, 110 miles range, 57,364 miles. Um, it's going for an MOT tomorrow. So a new MOT, um, we're placing all four brake pads on all four wheels because there was an advisory on the last MOT to say the brake pads were low on, uh, I think it was the front or rear. So we decided we'll change all the lot. Um, what else have we got here? We've got three sets of keys. So that's ultra rare, three sets of remote control central locking keys with the automatic boot release as well. So three keys, that's good. Uh, leather sport steering wheel, you can see it's got the uh, soft leather all the way round. Uh, it's three spoke and it's got this black stitch in there. So that's the leather steering wheel. Right, okay. What else have we got? We have got here the service history. So it's all... Uh, that's the navigation SD card, so we've got that in, that's works. Last service, oil service was at 54,000 miles by this garage called Park Garage. So that obviously that wasn't a, uh, a Skoda dealer, uh, it was just a normal garage. And then the one before that, another one at 2022 at 42,000 miles. That was the service here, carry out service MOT uh, as well. And then another one there for some tyres. Uh, another one there for full service as well in 2021, that was at 35,000 miles, uh, that was a uh, VAT registered garage, and then we've got the Skoda one here, the Skoda one here, replaced the tooth belt, there we go, so that was at 32,000 miles in 2020, that's a Skoda garage that, and it's got all the health report, everything they did to that car, it was actually done under warranty, the timing belt was done under warranty for some reason, the customer was complaining about a little squeak, and they said it was a timing belt at fault, so they replaced all that. You've got everything else here, like the book pack as well, instructions, Skoda, etc. Up here you've got, um, what you call it, your uh, SD card slot. That's for the sat-nav, that's for your music. You've also got the air conditioning cold air vent there. So if you turn that on, the cold air from the air conditioning will go into the glove box and you'll be put your cans of pop in there in the summer. Right, okay, switch the engine off. I'm going to pop the bonnet on the other side because the bonnet release on Skoda's is actually on the other side. So on the VW and Audis it's on the right hand side and then the Skoda's are on the left hand side. I think same with the Seats as well. It's obviously all built by the same company, the Volkswagen Audi group. But uh, sometimes I like to do things different just to confuse our minds. So what we've got here, we have got uh the tdi engine cover it's good to see that's there all nice and clean some mechanics tipex 922 on there for some reason is that the last time they serviced it i think it is yes yes that's where the receipt was yes okay so let's put that there it's hpi clear so everything under here is as, as it should be no screws and bolts missing no cracked plastic trims etc everything is 
really tidy and clean. Antifreeze is quite red there as well. That's at the maximum. Uh, that's a fuel filter as well. It's a fuel filter, screen wash, etc. And all up here is nice and tidy as well. Nothing's out of place. It's all, all looks original. Okay. This is the 148 or 150 brake horsepower engine as well and it will do up to 70 miles per gallon and this is the most wanted model of the Octavia group believe it or not this one is because a lot of uh, taxi drivers use these or private hire because of the amount of space accommodation the fuel economy everything about these the driving position uh, like I always said to people the people say what's a good car and I says well what do taxi drivers drive and they go Skoda Octavia well, there's your answer I mean, why would they choose a rubbish car that breaks down all the time and is not economical? So, so that, there's your answer. So the Skoda Octavia is the number one choice uh, as reliability and mileage as well. It does lots of mileage, etc. And it looks good. It looks good. I think they look good, these. And they're far superior value uh, compared to the likes of a Passat or a Audi A4 or A6 estate. Okay, if you've got a part exchange, please let us know the reg number and mileage. We'll give you a quotation. Uh, we do the finance on this vehicle, this vehicle being low mileage at 57,000 miles and 17 plate, this could be financed up to six years. So six years finance to get those monthly payments really down. And because it's only done 57,000 miles, you could physically run this for six years. You know what I mean? So let's do say you do 10,000 miles a year, uh, six years down the line, this will have done the maths 117. So it'll still have some resale value uh, after you add it for six years. So a good a good option car, this one, a very good option uh, to buy indeed. Right, okay, hope you enjoyed the uh, video and hope to see you soon. Thank you.